Hello, welcome to my tutorial on uh, installing Easy Populate for Zencart 1.5. Uh, this is my second attempt. My first attempt uh, failed miserably because the link would not show under Tools. Uh, right here at the very bottom, there should be a link that says Easy Populate when you get done adding Easy Populate. So, what I've done is I've just completely did away with my cart and reloaded it and reconfigured it from scratch. And this is a completely empty cart. In fact, I haven't even visited it. This is the first visit to the front of the cart. And uh, I'm in the back area of the cart, so I'm just going to go ahead and refresh this real quick like. We'll see one visit, one session, total of one. So, nothing's been done to this cart. Uh, I'm in the FTP. Too many windows open here. All right, let me get in my FTP, and I'm going to refresh my FTP because I want to be sure that I'm in the right places and everything. And right here, it's Easy Populate CSV for Zencart V15. So I'm in the root directory of my web, uh, website's shopping cart, the 1.5 uh, Zencart, which in my case is www slash cart because I have it in a subdirectory. It's not in the main directory. If it was in the main directory, this would just be www. But wherever yours is, just navigate to that. And then in, say, Firefox or whatever, you would go look up Easy Populate, say on Google or something, and you get to a page that's Zencart, something like this, and then it has various download options. And what I did is I downloaded this version 1.5, clicked that out, and then uh, opened, navigated to the folder it was in, and I opened it using my unzip program. I use 7-zip. I kind of like 7-zip. And then uh, from there, I opened it up into a folder that I can find in an FTP. Now, in FTP, I'm navigated to that folder, which is D Downloads Easy Populate CSV for Zencart 1.5. And on the other side, on the server side, I'm in my shopping cart uh, place there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to send up the install SQL file first, and then uh, I've renamed this to the name of my renamed admin folder, but I'm going to back out of that for the moment. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this temp EP file and I'm going to upload that because that's what Easy Populate uses to uh, store its data. And I'm going to take includes and I'm going to upload includes. And this is telling me a target file for includes file names PHP exists, so I'm going to overwrite that and see what happens. Okay, now in here I'm going to open my admin and I'm going to open the admin in my cart rather than rename this. Now they're, they're saying rename uh, this admin folder in the download, but I'm finding that may have created an issue for me last time. I'm really not sure, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to upload all of these right into the admin folder that I've got. And I can see here that I've got a file that wants to overwrite. So we'll let it overwrite. Why not? Okay, so now we have the files up and in place. And let me go back into Chrome. And this is where I hung up last time because it didn't show up in the tools bar. Of course, now let me refresh this and hopefully I'll have something different happen this time. Nope, does not happen different. But fear not, uh, if you do go to uh, you go to that portion, and here's how we're going to do that. We're going to go to cart, and somewhere down here I've got okay, uh, I've got that in my other in uh, Firefox. Uh, let's see, go to Zen Card in Firefox, and I'm in Easy Populate PHP. That's where you're going to want to be. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate to Easy Populate PHP and see what happens there. 
All right, it's asking me to log in. I'm going to log in. And now I've changed this cart, but I think I left my passwords the same. No, apparently I didn't. But let's, I can resolve that real quick like. There we go. All right, easy population configure is missing. Please install your configuration by clicking here. So if I click there, it says that I am configured now. So I'll bet, yep, I go to the tools and there's no link there. So I don't know what the anomaly is about the link, but what you're going to want to do is in order to be able to use Easy Populate, uh, all you have to do is you go into your uh, admin and then at the end of admin uh, where it's cart, your name of admin, just type in Easy Populate PHP. And once you've done that, uh, then you can just bookmark that and that's how you would get into your easy populate now uh, support for Zencart 1.5 is very very new so I'm hoping that they'll resolve that issue down the line uh, I've read you know I've read where that is supposed to show in your links and your tools here and it's also supposed to show in your configuration that's the way it always has for me but since there's not going to be a link there, you just are going to have to uh, bookmark that link. And just remember, it's easypopulate.php uh, in your admin page. You know, so from from admin home, all you got to do is once you're at admin home uh, and you want to get to your easy populate, you just back out of that and you just type in easy populate. Of course, I've already been there a few times, so it's already in my catch or whatever that is. So anyway, that's how you would go about getting to your Easy Populate page. That's the only real problem that I can see with this. Now, I'm going to pause because I've got a, a file I want to upload to this that I haven't done yet. I just didn't think that one through. And I'll upload that and download it, and I'll be right back. Okay, that file was actually in my other computer. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and uploaded it into this temporary folder here. So if you look down here, and I'm going to refresh this page, a uh, new file should show up in that temporary folder. And there it is. 3001 k, k bytes. So, let me open Chrome again. It's got less windows going on here. And in Chrome, I'm going to go ahead and go to the front of my website, front of the cart. And as you can see, there's absolutely nothing in this cart yet. So now when I go back, I'm going to open Firefox here. And I'm going to hit import this set of records. Alright, and it's working on the import. Yeah, aside from that anomaly that you just can't get right to easy populate out of tools, everything else seems to be fine. And as you'll notice, uh, if you're familiar with easy populate for older versions, you can see uh, all the products are being have been uploaded. Anytime you see it in green with all of those things going on there, it's all been uploaded. So I should have 1400 uh, new products now. So let me go back over to Chrome since I had that window open and we have nothing in it. You can see the cards empty. Now you want to watch these areas right here. And as I refresh, there's 1481 products now. So I haven't uploaded the pictures, so all there really is going to be here is the product and product descriptions. So as I click on each of these product descriptions, you'll see that this has loaded my cart. So the next step is uploading my images and I would upload all of those into the appropriate folder based on the paths that I've set in Easy Populate. But that's Easy Populate for uh, version 1.5 and I really hope that uh, uh, there's some better support and, and some improvements. I continue to use uh, version 1.39 of Zencart uh, just because I, it's what I'm used to and I know a lot of the mods and stuff like that have not really made it into the mainstream of using the 1.5. Uh, so in my, uh, in my estimation I would stay with the 1.39 but I notice that nobody else seems to have made a, you know, a video tutorial about using it on Zencart version 1.5. But 
Uh, just rest assured you can do it, but in my experience, uh, if I can work out this tool thing, I'll leave a note down in the annotations and uh, maybe a link to an additional video. And uh, hope this has helped you out. And if you're using 1.5 and you love it and you want to be able to use uh, Easy Populate, now you can. And uh, I hope it works out. If it does, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, tell your friends. And you have a great whatever it is you're having. Thank you.